So it's your boy downsizing. I'm back once again on my block with another hood classic. This one right here, I want to react directly to at Rick Rock for his defense of Poetic Flaco. Now, on the surface, it's honorable, bro. It's truly honorable that you'll stand up for someone that you feel is being bullied, right? That you feel like the need to protect. And that's cool. You should. I mean, people should not be just targeting people for no particular reason, going after them, you know, for, for their critiques of people, right? That's for every content creator. You know what I mean? We have a right to our opinions. People have a right to disagree. And we shouldn't be under no threat for to lose our life or liberty as a result of that. Now, what you're neglecting, Compton Rick Rock, is that <clears throat> Poetic Flacco is on the record calling the cops and putting someone's je liberty at jeopardy, their lives and their liberty and their livelihood at jeopardy. Now, you seem to want to step in the front of that bullet over that rat. You're neglecting that and you're selective politicking, as I pointed out about all people from California, you have a bad habit, a tendency towards selective politicking what, you, what you're doing in this instant. It's a fact. Now, if those dudes who he called the cops on, he's on the record trying to get locked up, he snitched on, decides they want to get some get back and, and put something through him for that, what? You're going to stand in the way of that, Compton Rick Rock? Really? You really want to defend the honor of someone who snitched and he needs to clean that shit up. That's what you're neglecting in your selective politicking. Now it sounds good, like I said, on the surface to defend the to defend someone that you feel is being bullied. And in a lot of cases, I do believe that Poetic Flock was being bullied. So I honor and respect that. But I don't respect the fact that you're neglecting in your selective politicking when it comes to the fact that he's on the record calling the cops, dog. But you want to just sweep that under the rug as if there's not consequences to anybody calling the cops. There's no, listen, your selected politicking says that, oh, there's civilians and not civilians and this and that. No, dude, anybody that's speaking on it is that. We are all subject to the consequences of our words and deeds as he is. Now, granted, like I said, we shouldn't be targeted just for having an opinion, but consider what that opinion is and consider where that opinion goes. Because you're overlooking, like I said, the fact that he called the cops on somebody and tried to have somebody locked up for whatever reason. Now you want to justify it in your selective politicking to say, well, he's a civilian. No, he's not a civilian. When he is speaking on things that he has no knowledge of, no experience in. That's everybody's problem with them, but you're defending all of that. Now you need to consider that because it sounds good on the surface. It does to everyone listening. And I, and I, and, and, and I, and I applaud you for that. I think we all do. But like I said, you're neglecting to see your own selective politicking and what you're saying. And it ain't right, dog. How do you justify that he called the cops? I know how you're going to justify. Oh, well, he's a civilian. No, he is not. He's a rat. And you're old enough, Rick Rock, like myself, to know that snitching, the reason snitches get what they get is to prevent, first and foremost, their testimony. That's why snitches get er eradicated in the fashion that they do to prevent their testimony. The selective politicking on all of it comes after the fact when people want to people want to either up or down when somebody already does. But the fact remains He's done that and you're defending that. So you have to understand that you're defending the snitch at present. And I'm going to leave you with that. Peace. The mouth.